Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I obviously unbox my various streetwear, sneaker, and sometimes even jewelry purchases on the channel. And in today's video, I've got another Capital Japan unboxing for you. Yes, in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my first ever Capital Country piece. What Capital Country piece did I pick up? Well, I'm going to be unboxing my Capital Country Velveteen J-Wave Quilted Souvenir Cardigan that I picked up from up there, Australia. <laughs> well, yes, guys, you didn't think I was going to do it. I actually picked up one of the pieces that I said I wanted to pick up from my pickups series. <laughs> You're probably watching my three uh, parts that I've uploaded at the moment in my pickup series being like, is he ever actually going to pick up the pieces that he wants to pick up? Well, the answer is in due time. <laughs> I eventually get around to doing it. Uh, also, I mentioned in part three that I proxied a jacket. This is not that jacket. As, as in the title suggests, it's a cardigan. And also, well, I bought it from Australia. So why would I need to proxy something from Australia? I would just get it shipped to me. But anyway, that's not the piece. We've got a third piece coming eventually. Japan's still in its coronavirus lockdown, so it might be a little while. But you're probably wondering how I managed to stumble across up there and how I managed to pick this up and what size I picked it up. Well, yes. So I obviously wanted the piece. I discussed it on the Pickups 3 video. So I went hunting. Uh, I found that up there, Australia, uh, the only boutique that sells capital in Australia, uh, was selling this piece in three sizes, one, three, and five. I went with the size five uh, as I Googled this piece on other stores that had measurements on it. And I used their measurements to determine that a size five would be a good fit for me. Uh, if you don't know, capital, the sizes are not consistent. So you could be a size three in one piece and then a size five in another. It's really hard. I know you can't just be like, I am a size five and that is the size I am. You really gotta be like, okay, this is the sizes that are available for this piece. Let's look at the dimensions of the piece, the measurements of the piece and find out which size is gonna fit me. Because there are some capital pieces that I'm looking at on the capital store that I wanna proxy over to Australia as well. And I could fit into a size three for some of them. So you really got to be careful so you don't buy an oversized piece just in case. Unless that's the vibe that you're going for. Uh, yeah, but I'm super happy that I'm going to be unboxing my first ever Capital Country piece, guys. I really wanted this as I really wanted to experience my first ever Capital Country piece and see what the difference is and how it is like compared to a normal Capital piece. Uh, if you want to know what the difference is between Capital and Capital Country, Capital Country was a sub-label of Capital founded in 2010. It focuses on grabbing pieces from older Capital collections, remastering them with different unique dyeing and washing techniques to get a different unique color. Now, what's really special about the Capital Country pieces is because they use these interesting dyeing and washing techniques, each individual Capital Country piece is going to be different from every other Capital Country piece. So even though if you see someone else in the street rocking a size 5 of this jacket, it's going to look very different to mine. They are all individually different. And that's why Capital Country pieces are harder to find versus normal Capital pieces, because they only do a couple of them. I don't know how many quantity wise, but they just don't do as many as normal Capital pieces because they have to go through the whole extra dyeing process, the extra washing process. So if you want to pick up a Capital Country piece, good on you. Good luck. They're hard to find. And also, if you don't know what it looks like, you may not like the color that you get because the colors might be slightly off from the photos that you've seen because <laughs> I just mentioned they're all different. So I'm very excited to see how mine looks when I unbox it, guys. So let's get into it and have a look how this Capital Country J-Wave Velveteen Souvenir Quilted Cardigan looks when I unbox it. Enough talking, let's get into it guys. So, why did I pick up this piece? I really liked its design, its color, and the graphics on it. I also wanted to experiment with cardigans and see how they look on me. So, uh, what the piece actually is, is on the front, it's a full quilted uh, front part, which is covered in like this indigo uh, dyed 
like gradient of tones and colors and it like reflects and looks different in different uh you know lighting settings on the back it has this like contrasted plush matte velvet and down the arms you have this amazing golden flower embroidery and on the back you have an embroidered map of all the famous surfing spots in japan and i just thought that was so so sick so let's get into it here that should be it undone i'll open it up and showcase to you how it looks this actually surprisingly looks quite big <laughs> well it's a size five i hope it was quite big i'm quite a big fella that's what it looks look at that oh my god in the lighting you can already see it like shimmering so that's obviously the front the quilted front part let's see what this thank you cut oh look at that look at that so this is the up there return slip and on the inside of it they drew <laughs> the iconic capital smiley face motif with enjoy on it i love that well i i don't think i'll be returning it <laughs> i've been hunting for this piece for a little while now well i've been wanting the piece for a while but hunting for it for a smaller amount of time so yeah i definitely want this piece let's get it out that's all that's in the box okay on the front there is that amazing gradient quilt of green and gold that I was talking about. You can see it there. Can't really see the back. We're gonna have to get it out of the bag. Let's get into it though. Let's unbox this and see how it looks. It comes in quite a big bag here. Oh, soft. Instantly once I feel that quilt, soft man, that is soft. Get it out of the plastic bag here. I'll just get the capital tag off of it, whatever it's called. Don't wanna, don't wanna damage the piece. There's the, there's the tag, there's the tag, check them over there. So as we can see, the capital uh, country tag is different from the normal capital tag. You can see it up there, that is the capital country tag. It comes in black and it says country remake clothing Japan or capital clothing Japan. So as I mentioned, capital country is the remake of their iconic pieces from before. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Oh my God, that's amazing. I wish you could see what I'm saying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slowly lift it up for you. Have a look at this. On the back, here it is. The plush velvet with all of the surfing spots in Japan. You can see all embroidered here onto the piece and down the sides of the arm, there is that amazing golden flower motif down the sides there. here is the front of it you have that amazing gold and green dyed uh quilt on the front and i wonder if i slowly just open it up here if we have any tags on top of the quilt being on the front as well though guys when you open it up you got that amazing quilt on the inside let's get into it i wonder if it has any internal tags just for like legit checking purposes, just in case any of you guys wanted to like buy one second hand of someone and you wanted to know if it's real or not. Um, I don't think it has any interior tags by the looks of it. Well, that's all, all the piece there. There it is there. I'm going to chuck it on and see how this looks on body. But it is so comfy. This quilt is so soft. Let's try it on and see how a size 5 looks on me. So, I actually did find the tags. It was in the spot that I didn't check. Rookie mistake. It's actually in the left pocket here. So there's the tags down there, and it has a little size 5. And then if you flip it over, it says 2XL there. I know you guys won't be able to see it, but I just thought I'd let you know that's where the tags are hidden, down there. But look at this piece. Oh my god, you can see it as I like move. It like shines and stuff. It's so sick. <laughs> so this is a size 5. To let you know my height and dimensions, I am uh, 6'5", the last time I measured myself, like 190 whatever centimeters that is. I'm about 115 kilos, could lose a little bit. So I am quite a big build. This is a size 5, so just to fill you guys in, if you were thinking of buying a size 5, you gotta be a tall fella 
or a really big fella to be able to fit into this size comfortably because i think this is a good fit for me i don't think i'd want a size three because i feel like a size three would sit around here but i totally think i could fit into a size three one if i wanted to because this is quite big look the cardigan goes down to like here down to my thighs so it is quite long but just look at the attention to detail and look at the colors on it it's such an amazing piece you can see the gradient how it goes from gold yellow down to the green on the quilt on the front and then i don't know if it's going to pick up well on the camera but let's have a look at the back of the piece god damn look at that embroidery design of the, the celebrated surfing spots of japan such a stick big piece i was thinking of wearing it with a turtleneck or potentially just going full capital and wearing the capital smile hoodie uh underneath it as well which i have just over to the side there but this is just such a dope piece and it's so lightweight i, I wish i got this earlier when it was summer because this is like the outwear that i could just chuck on and just so easy to move around in this is ideal <laughs> if you wanted summer outwear here it is right here such an awesome piece i love it I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section below. Do you like this capital country? I'm going to try and remember its name. Velveteen J-Wave Quilted Souvenir Cardigan. Do you like it? Now, remember, would you pick it up knowing that the quilted color here can differ? Or will, sorry, will differ. There's 100%. It will differ from piece to piece. Do you like that? Do you like the concept of Capital Country, of Capital redoing its pieces with icon with crazy dyeing and washing techniques? Or do you just feel like every piece should be the same and we should keep it at that? <laughs> I want to know your thoughts and opinions, guys. Would you pick this up? Do you like it? And how do you feel about Country? Ah, uh, sorry, Capital Country. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in that comment section below. And that's an unbox, guys. My first capital piece. Hopefully first of many. <laughs> I'm hoping to pick up many of them. I just think it's a super lovely piece. It's so lightweight. Such a nice material. And the colors on that embroidery on the back. I, don't, I feel like the camera just does not do it justice. It just... It's just crazy. Look at that. I, I, again, I don't think the camera is picking it up as much as I want it to, but that is just amazing. The flower motif down the sides of the arms, the uh, the gold and the white embroidery just looks awesome. Oh, and I'll also show you the tags. I, sh I should probably help the fellas out if you want to legit check them. Uh, let me just get the tags out. It has the velvet on the back in the pockets, so when you put the hands in the pockets... Woo! <laughs> amazing amazing okay let's get these tags out okay so that's uh, let's see if i can get this on an angle where you guys can actually see it so that's what the capital tag looks like i know you probably there we go that's it there made in japan capital incorporated you flip the little size tag over there's 2xl because it's a size 5 and yeah that's for you guys out there that want to buy one secondhand and you're worried if it's legit or not. Now you can confirm with the tags. There. But I think this is a super awesome piece. I wish I wore it. I wish I picked it up months ago for summer. I'm going to have to... I can wear it in every season because it's so lightweight. But I'm going to have to save it for next summer as well. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on it though, guys. Do you like this piece? Would you pick up this piece? How do you feel about Capital having this design where it's one design on the front and then they split it with this amazing gold stitching and then have a different design on the back do you like that do you not like that let me know all your thoughts and opinions on this piece down in that comment section below and if you guys want me to do more unboxing videos um get more capital pieces don't forget to leave a big old like on this video a comment in the comment section down below and a subscribe to the channel as we are also trying to aim for a new subscriber milestone this month of 2,870 subscribers. We're so close. We're literally like two subs off, guys. It's so, so close. So subscribe today, and hopefully we can reach that milestone before the end of March. But that's that piece unboxed. 
I should probably get around to posting on Instagram so then I can post an outfit in it. <laughs> I'll get around to it guys and when I get that third piece from uh, Japan once their lockdown's over. I'll of course be unboxing that on the channel. So subscribe if you want to see more capital unboxings on YouTube because I'm definitely going to be doing that for you. But that is the capital. Oh, here we go. Let me try and get the name again. That is the Capital Country uh, Velveteen J Wave Quilted Souvenir Cardigan that I picked up from up there, Australia. So until the next capital video, until the next unboxing video, until the next streetwear talk video in general, guys. I'll catch you later.